If you spend any time at all on a laptop computer, you know that using it the way it was originally designed can generate lots of heat on your lap. Well, tonight we're learning feeling that heat can be harmful to your skin. Fox 5's Bob Barnard explains. We live in a laptop world. At least it seems that way, especially if you visit an urban coffee shop. This is Trist in Adams Morgan. Though many here have their computers on a tabletop, others are using them on their laps. Every day. Every day. And yes, Raghu Raghavan says he feels the heat. It does get reasonably hot. I mean, I don't know the temperature, but pretty hot. And now, according to a new report in the medical journal Pediatrics, we're learning that heat generated by your laptop can damage the skin on your legs. Washington dermatologist Dr. Howard Brooks says he sees patients with that all the time. We feel like getting warm, but we're so interested in Facebook or whatever we're doing that we just keep that laptop on there. And it can lead to discoloration and, and this condition called erythema abigni, or toasted skin syndrome. He says the heat from laptops is basically baking your skin. 99% of the time there's nothing to worry about other than the reddish discoloration or in people of color it can present with a brown or a darkening discoloration on the thighs. But this can, be, this can lead to squamous cell cancer. From your thinning skin getting exposed to UV rays or sunlight, new technology is improving matters. Well, I used to have an old laptop. It was an old HP, and um, it started breaking down. And so I got a new computer. It's a lightweight one. And I felt a significant difference. Um, it, was, uh, it was more efficient with its heating. So I never felt the heat as much anymore. So I was more comfortable using it on my lap all the time. But if yours still generates too much heat, Dr. Brooks says there are ways to avoid harming your skin. If you Google laptop accessories, if you go on Mac or Dell or any of these websites, there's, um, there's desk, laptop desk that you can have. So it, something as simple as putting a, a barrier between the laptop and your skin. Um, whenever I'm sitting in my bed, honestly, I put a pillow or two and I just rest my laptop on that and that should be sufficient. Now, Dr. Brooks says toasted skin syndrome was first seen in people sitting too close to fireplaces that actually damaged the skin on their shins. Now, I've got with me here one of our weather department's temperature readers here. And, Sean, I've heard you say that these things get hot. You Not know, necessarily tonight, but we're going to give it a shot. Typically, the desk gets hot. But we'll give it a shot. And that is reading here. 81 degrees. Now, wow. the, I don't know if you can see it there. Yes. Now, the experts say, though, it's not actually the temperature that matters. It's the prolonged exposure to the heat mm -hmm. that can do the damage to your skin. Wow. Interesting still. I mean, you know, it feels a lot cooler than normal. So um, imagine what it user, usually is. Yeah. Like I heard you can play. And, and it's got a little venting underneath there. But if you lay it on your legs, I can tell, you know, I think a lot of people have had that experience. And it's right. simple. It's Dr. Brooks says just stick a pillow under there. Yep. Good advice. All right. Thank you, Bob.